good morning. Why the hate? Again, my, my name is Ed Benet. I am the president of the Asian Pacific Islander Outreach based here in North Carolina. Our organization's nonprofit mission is to assist Asian Americans and Pacific Islanders and others in the community to be involved in our electoral process. 45 years ago, I emigrated to America from the Philippines. I am proud to be a Filipino Asian American and truly love our country. But since the start of the pandemic in 2020, 20 million Asian Americans have faced racist, violence, and provoke attacks at a much higher rate than previous years. This spike in unprecedented hate crimes are attributed to the xenophobic, incendiary rhetoric against Asian Americans, and in fact, blaming us for the COVID-19 virus pandemic. As Senator uh, Chaudhry said, in the last year, close to 3,800 attacks on Asian Americans were reported, but the number can be higher because of many unreported cases. And listen to the statistics. 70%, again, 70% of these reported attacks are against women of Asian descent, 70%. In the Philippine language, we call our grandmother Lola. I'm a Lolo, a grandfather, and very proud of that. And we all love our grandmothers and our Lolas. Imagine this, your grandmother, your Lola, riding in a trolley, and suddenly, without provocation, punched and hit by a stranger on her face. Your grandmother, your Lola, suffered a bruise, but more importantly, humiliated and now scared to travel. Imagine this, your grandfather, or as in the Thai language, grandfathers are called Kun Pu. Your Kun Pu was walking on the street and violently slammed to the ground by a man who charged into him at full speed, and your grandfather, or Kun Pu, died from the violent attack. These are not imagined incidents. These actually happened last year. Our community is on edge. Attacks on Asian Americans have to stop now. We are asking and imploring, imploring our legislators to support the Hate Crimes Prevention Act bill. The four tenets of the bill are simple but powerful. Increase the scope and punishment of hate crimes. Requires the SBI to create and maintain a hate crime statistics database. Requires the North Carolina Justice Academy to train LEOs to identify, respond, and report hate crimes, and requires the conference of district attorneys to develop and train prosecutors on how to prosecute hate crimes. We are hoping that this bill will prevent and protect our North Carolina Asian Americans from the ever-increasing hate crime attacks in our community. Again, we are on edge. In addition to the passing of the bill, we encourage our community to enter in an interracial dialogue. This should include AAPI community in conjunction with the Latino and black community. Educating Americans of the history of Asian Americans in the US, we have been a fabric of this country and for centuries we are part of America. Do you know that we have been in the U.S. since the 16th century? Did you know that Filipinos, they're called Filipino men, landed in New Orleans in 1765? I visited this community a couple of years ago and met some of the descendants of those Filipinos. Amazing. From 1863 to 1869, 15,000 Chinese workers helped build 
the Transcontinental Railroad, educating Americans of the history of Asian Americans in the US is important. And when you witness a crime, or you are a victim of hate incident, report it to the police. As, doctor, uh, as uh, Senator Mohammed said, I'm calling you a doctor now. My parents would have loved that. <laughs> <laughs> Data is very crucial in education and advocating for our community. And try to learn the diversity of Asian cultures and the unique socioeconomic issues within each community. We have a lot to do. But the first step is to pass this very important and crucial bill. I really appreciate Senator Chaudhry, Senator Fushi, and Senator Mohammed for sponsoring this bill. Now let's get to work. Thank you. Thank you, Ed. And finally, we will hear from Gerald Givens, president of the Raleigh